Come to you, uh, Madam Sarah Jibrira. You had a lot about Wangari Matai. Yes, what sort of, you know, what kind of a giant that she was. By the way, you do have something in common, and that is she tried to be the president of Kenya herself, just like you have tried a couple mm -hmm. of times to be the president of the most populous nation on the African continent. Did you know her? Did she inspire you one way or the other? Did you ever compare notes with Wangari Matai? Well, I joined the whole world, particularly Kenya, to sympathize with the family, the country, and uh, just pray that God will give them the, uh, the courage, the fortitude to bear this uh, great loss. Accept my sympathy, everyone. I didn't have the opportunity of meeting this great heroine on the earth <coughs> of Africa. But I read about her, particularly when she had the Nobel Prize. And, but, and focusing on environment, I thought this was just a role model that focused on sustaining the, the contribution of environment in creation, maintaining. And when you talk of Mother Earth, she was close to Earth. And I was listening to my young sister here, who was able to meet her and took photographs with her, and she impacted on her the naturalness, her simplicity, uh, remaining authentically original. And that means it was transferred to the preservation of the importance, the, the, the indispensable re relevance of the benefits of Earth and keeping the environment, her environment green. This, that, it, it spells the nature of womanhood. It spells the, the, the addition of education plus awareness, insight, f being focused, as well as being strong, the stamina to make the point that as a, a citizen of this planet Earth and being a mothering uh, a species, she wanted to demonstrate in action that indeed the world, particularly the African continent, must recognize uh, the need to preserve and to beautify the environment. The hearing she is not only to Kenyans, but to all of us in Nigeria. And I really hope that uh, while she is being honored in Kenya, the AU also, African Union, also enjoyed the honor or having one of their own be honored. And now that she's passed on, it should also uh, throw more impetus to AU because this decade has been declared by AU as the uh, African de uh, decade for African women. Mm -hmm. And when you raise uh, someone of such uh, humble uh, spirit to raise gigantic issue that is not becoming an issue worldwide, the issue of environment, I really feel it's high time the African uh, leaders would recognize these peculiar issues, not wait for the outside world to recognize the input of women on the planet Africa. And I really feel it's high time we even had awards by AU of peculiar things that, uh, missions that women have accomplished. And uh, we had what we had, uh, 50 women at 50. Uh, during our independ uh, independence, the 50th, 50th independence anniversary. 51, basically. And you now, yes, last year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last year. Now we are 51. On Saturday. Ex extra matured. Yes. But I, I feel if that goes on, why I may be relevant to this discussion today as being one advising Mr. President on ethics and values. Environment, good environment, sustained environment is a value. The human being's uh, committedness, resoluteness is a value. And human beings are capital values <coughs> on the planet Earth. So it's only ethical to carry your value and work it and apply it to your own behavior, interaction with the environment, with mm -hmm. human beings, etc. So I see the whole thing is so philosophical, it is natural, it is environmental, it's ecological. And it's, it's, it blends education, it blends in, uh, character, it blends principle, it blends philosophy, it, it, it blends political understanding. Uh, with us, and I think the African Muslim, the women, the African women, are really versatile in their giftings of intellectual wisdom. Now, here is a woman uh, who seems to really have it all 
Yes. She got a PhD, not only getting yes. a PhD, but actually one of the earlier people to do so, That's a pioneer right. in That's doing right. that. That's right. Uh, she became uh, a university professor mm -hmm. at a time when, uh, frankly, very few women or even men uh, from, uh, you know, Africa could actually for those focus. positions. Yes, yes, indeed. She was the type of uh, individual who had unfettered access to any place, you name it, whether it was the Royal Paris in Europe mm -hmm. or whether it was uh, State House, uh, whether it was, uh, 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 you know, wherever, whatever you want to mention. Mm -hmm. And yet she somehow remained deeply and firmly rooted in her Africanness, her African culture. Just saw in the picture. Her African culture. With her rapper yes. in the garden. Yes. The green garden. Yes. She That's remained very everything. close, very sympathetic and empathetic to her less fortunate sisters. That's right. That's who right. were cooking with firewood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, how do you think, what do you think uh, women, for example, from Nigeria, frankly, can draw from this type of uh, experience? That the it's a challenge to the maybe the more educated women that understand the whole analysis of depletion educated of meaning women with the western men, type of education because the, let's, yeah, for, have, let's western not forget type of education. that there's right. a traditional african education also that's right mm -hmm. the women who are formally educated in the western type of education and they understand the analysis of how cooking with firewood the problems of even fetching the firewood utilizing how it depletes our environment it's high time I know one who is talking about, um, I happen to be a trustee to one of the organizing women in environment uh, program in, mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But I really, I think we need to push harder more to really uh, bring that, uh, highlight and buzz up the issue of the environment and how it affects even our, uh, the, 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 the development agricultural aspect the food production, as well as the beauty of the environment, as well as even the, the, the biological benefits of the environment to us. And really, I think Nigerian women have, are also learning, as my young uh, sister here, as you know, she talked about being role modeled by our late uh, mama, uh, Zwang. Wangari Mazai. Yes. It shows that, yes, the young ones are picking up from these ones. And the, the, for us to now apply our Western education to our needs mm -hmm. uh, locally. So, so you think that uh, Nigerian women can, in fact, stand on Wangari Mata's shoulders yes, so indeed. that they can see a little bit further? As a springboard, I'm not yes. to apply more. I hear you. As the lady said from Kenya. Let's go to Wonderful. the lifeline welcome. of the show, which yes, are the indeed. telephone Thank callers. You. Let's go to Alex from Tanzania. Good evening, Alex. You are most welcome. You have one minute, please. Yes, Shaka. Uh, thank you very much, Alex. Katengo from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. You are most welcome. Shaka, for, thank you very much. For me, I think it will be very.